Hello, Marvel Hotline. Hi, I'm Jeff Parker, and you're listening to Marvel Hotline. This week, we're talking about Thunderbolts, number 144. The number of the editors and me and everybody actually discussing how the Thunderbolts fits into the heroic age. Uh, and, and I think the, the story logic is everybody agrees on is that Thunderbolts was wildly abused under uh, Norman Osborn. Not, not that it started out to be such a noble thing in the first place, because um, it was the Masters of Evil originally. But now um, people realize that it actually could do some good. Uh, some some uh, major bad guys have reformed because of being in the Thunderbolts and just having to pretend to be good guys was really enough to, to get them on the path. So uh, now the... Uh, the, the new administration in, in the Marvel Universe wants to wants to try to, to make use of it. So the next time uh, someone like uh, Osborn comes along, there's just not enough of an army to grab it anymore. Whether they can really reform that many people it remains to be seen, but in the meantime, the Thunderbolts can do a lot of good. Uh, Steve Rogers taps Luke Cage for this and, you know, kind of, it's, it's hard to turn down Captain America when he asks you to do something. So uh, uh, Luke goes into it. with He didn't particularly want to take the job, but he understands that he has a lot of authority. Uh, he can deal with criminals, and they have a grudging respect for him. And, and he understands the idea that uh, people can be put on a wrong path and end up somewhere. You know, it, very well, a few more bad breaks and the... Uh, among the supervillains of Marvel, could have, one of them could have been him. Uh, so he wants to kind of prevent that and see who he can kind of uh, bring back to the other side. And at the same time, you know, it, it gives him a force to work with to go uh, to go deal with some heavy stuff. Luke's a little he he goes into it a little adversarial because he he didn't get a whole lot of say in how the team came together. But in the future, he gets to pick a lot of say like emergency members. Uh, when they go out on certain missions, if they need to tap somebody from from the raft to come along because of their specialty, he can do that. So it, it, there there will be a lot of organic flowing in the membership, but with this basic core for now. I'm Jeff Parker. Thanks for listening to Marvel Hub. Marvel, your universe.